Hey guys, before you watch this video, <laughs> you're gonna see a lot of me in um looking rough with my real hair out and everything. I'm not ashamed of my real hair by any means, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that is who I am. So, <laughs> future husband, there's no surprises, you know, you're nothing to be worried about. You're not ashamed of it. So stay tuned, make sure you like, make sure you comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the rest of the video. Hey guys, welcome to Tammy Time. This is Tammy. Today, well tonight, since it's like 2 a.m., I am going to be washing and conditioning and really just doing my hair care and maintenance. I normally do. So, um, basically, I'm transitioning from Rolex hair. But now, I'm transitioning to my curly crown. I have 4C hair. Okay? 4C hair. So, this transition is not simple. I hate it. <laughs> I literally hate it. I didn't even cuss Jesus for me. But yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I just I I I want to cut it all off. Yeah, I don't want to cut my hair, so I decided to transition gracefully or as graceful as possible to relax hair. So I've been transitioning for the last let's see eight months now, eight nine months. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, eight nine months, and I decided I was gonna cut off my hair, like do the big chop when i had like enough hair because the thing is i just need to be able to do a ponytail because believe it or not i wear a lot of like hair extensions weave um wigs all that stuff but i actually do not like wearing wigs that often i actually do like doing my hair like when i had my relaxed hair i love to do ponytails and stuff but it's actually very hard and i have to like relearn how to do my hair because i had relaxed hair since eighth grade and i am a junior in college so like the whole time i've been doing my own hair um it's been straight so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and show you i've been like trying to delay but like my hair has been braided down like roughly so how like i wear it in the wig oh this is my hair braided braided um yeah so all this is like straight relaxed hair as you can see it's looking really rough real crazy so like most most of my hair care products are um for relaxed hair Cause like I'm transitioning from relaxed hair to like natural hair, but like at the same time, there's like a lot of overlap between relaxed hair care and like natural hair care. It's like more conditioner. So like literally, this is halfway done, and this is like ninety percent full. Now I use this twice. So this is a shampoo and conditioner I'm using right now. It's the OGX brand. This is the Biotin Collagen Conditioner. And the coconut, I love coconut things. I just got stuff that I thought would like strengthen and like help my hair be more manageable. Okay, I'm back. And what I was saying was, one of the main reasons as well as why I'm going natural is because of the ingredients in the relaxers. So I'll put the ingredients in here, like the ones that cause the feebloids or whatever I was telling you guys about. Yeah, so like I don't want those problems. It's like literally killing us, so... I'm like, okay, fine. So yeah, I did almost relax my hair like a month or two ago because I was like, my hair is going so long now. Like, mm, I'm relaxing it. But anyways, now my hair is actually breaking because the line, the, the line of demarcation and whatnot, and I don't take care of it. Like, I'm not even gonna flex and say like I take care of it. Like, I don't. Like, you saw what it looked like in those braids. Like, you saw. Like, when I say do not care about my hair right now, like, it's literally like the worst. Now, here's the part of the video that's about hair care. The first step of this is to make sure your hair is as detangled as possible because like it's gonna get matted in the shower like the relaxed hair and the curly hair they're fucking enemies they hate each other they um don't want to they want to do different things she wants to be frizzy and stuff and this wants to be curly and they don't want to make life simple for you at all if you have like natural hair like 100 natural hair or more natural hair detangle after like I'll do like a finger detangle like this call it a day get in the shower you're good 
and then detangle when you have like the conditioner and the slip however um if you don't want all your relaxed hair to fall off or rip off at the line of demarcation which is where the curly hair and the straight hair meets don't do that because relaxed hair at least my relaxed hair um it's gonna rip it all out so i'll use a white tooth comb but definitely lost it shout out to daphne and i basically like detangle my hair a bit so i basically and don't do this if you're like going to stay relaxed if you're going to stay relaxed do it in the shower for me this is easier because once it gets tangled in the shower i'm going to be like literally ranking it out it's gonna be this so i'm just gonna pick it out a little bit and i'll be back to you and you want like a marshmallow scout with soap? I don't ever bunch it up. Yeah, that's how you rip up all your hair and get it tangled into a ball of hell. So I just leave it like so. I just keep doing this until the water gets in all my roots. You can start to see my curls coming in here. I can see. I can see my little curl curls. Okay, like the main tip you need is just just keep your hair dangling like don't bunch it up as you can see my new girl shriveled <laughs> so you can see my fro like how my big my fro would be now see kind of cute so basically you just like stick your hand in there you know what i mean like this not not like doing this you know that's gonna cause tangles keep it down this thing for scrubbing you can still scrub like that yeah so that's about it the shampoo only on my scalp and as i scrub obviously it goes down and it like cleans the rest and then i put conditioner all over my hair it's the only time my hair gets flipped Shake it out because I'm a dog. <laughs> Why am I? <laughs> First part I'm gonna put in my hair is my little conditioner. The one by Cantu Shea Butter Vegan Conditioner. First ingredient is water, the second ingredient is canola oil. Interesting. Um, it smells alright. Let me know what it smells like. I take a lot I just take a couple pumps of this stuff I told you about earlier the coconut nourishing coconut milk anti bricket serum by ODX just take a couple pumps of her and I added all through my hair. This stuff is good for relaxed or natural hair. I definitely like this stuff. This stuff usually you're not unable to find it in like stores. I used to have to order this on Amazon, but um, I was at Walmart and I seen it, so I grabbed it. So I use that as a moisturizer. I don't like the smell. It smells fine. It's not. It doesn't stink. It just doesn't smell like all the other products smell like fresh. Yeah. Like I just washed it, it smells not like that. So then we can take a little bit, like so, on my ends, on my kitchen, flip it up, and on my edges, sis, don't you forget it. The oils I use is extra virgin olive oil. First press, I use this every day. I'm going to use this for my hot oil treatment. So basically, I put this in a cup. I'm going to heat it up for 30 minutes, 30 seconds in the microwave, and put it on my head for 30 minutes. For like a pre-poo thing like last thing i use in my hair i don't have any products but i guess i do um is my wild hair growth oil this stuff i mess with this stuff high key i use this like on my scalp like when i'm done washing my hair i'll scalp it when i'm wearing a wig i'll go like this do everything um the only thing when you first start using this it will make your hair itch and i think that's low-key key on how it makes your hair grow makes your hair grow um because when you're like you're scratching, you're stimulating your scalp, which causes blood flow, which causes hair growth. 
so yeah but after a while you get used to it and when i i love this especially when i have braids this and this after i put like my moisturizer and my braids or protective hairstyles i use this but i don't use it that often because it makes me feel like my scalp is dirty and i actually don't like anything on my scalp now i can take a little bit of this oil here and apply hair to my edges if you have haitian coconut oil not haitian coconut oil blue masked tea which is um haitian black castor oil it's just castor oil but um that's really good for your edges to thicken them too put a little bit of this i don't do this nearly enough that's on my edge right here stuck on a bit right there do a little bit of that i also don't like this the smell of it i'm not smooth on it and that's basically it for right now i could um braid it should i braid it now I did oopsie. I went to sleep without braiding my hair. Big mistake. Huge. <laughs> Cause now I didn't realize I have enough new growth now. That like it's like a hassle. As you can tell, I'm braiding down my hair. Very big. I'm gonna get it like really braided by my friend so I can like get my birthday hair installed. I was gonna re-record it, but like I don't even care. Like if you think I'm ugly, I'm ugly. If you think I'm hot, I'm hot. Like, <laughs> I don't care. At least my man's. When we get married, there'll be no surprises. It doesn't get any worse than this. Except it can. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Like, comment, subscribe. And, you know, if you want, you can let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. Ideas are more than welcome. But before I go, I want to show you. This is how much hair I lost through the whole process of washing it, combing it out, and braiding it. It's a lot. And it's actually not more than normal because I'm transitioning. I'm not worried about it because it's just relaxing. I'm going to cut it off in February or January. Yeah.